Hi, in the previous session, we have done with the LS in the loop using direct input method and we have created metal master. So as a practice, we'll do one more session on that. This time we'll create the vendor master using direct input method. The steps will be same. Like first we have to create the vendor with XK01, note on technical name and then create a project. So first we'll create a vendor with XK01 T code. Enter the account group. I'm in, uh, creating with triple zero one. Give the name test one two three. Search term adopt lsnwdi. I'm entering postal code, city, country, region. One more flame I'm taking here telephone number one two three. Press enter. I'm entering only initial data. One issue with the direct input method in the lesson is it does not support the ADRC table. Means we cannot use the email address which get updated into ADRC, ADRC table. So it does not support the address table. That's why we can create only the other details like the basic data, LFA1 table, company code data, LFB table, etc. Click on save. 306876 is created. Go back. Now go to LSMW. Enter T code as LSMW. We'll get in the same project. Sub project. We'll change here. Instead of material, we'll use as vendor. Click on create icon. Just give vendor master. Click execute. Maintain field attributes. Execute. In the object, now previous, we have selected metal master. Now this time, we'll go with the vendor master. In the method, select shared. Click on save. Go back. Create a source structure. Execute. Click on create icon. So here instead of mm01, we will use xk01 structure structure for vendor master. Press enter. Save. Go back. Now we have to maintain the source field. One more option to maintain the source field. As in previous session, I have shown three methods by selecting the field individual by copy of from tables and throw table maintenance. One more option is there. In this screen, if you see here object or you, if you click here, click on list, click on or you in table format. So here system give all the field details along with the description, the character type, uh, the data type and the length. So here also we can first export to Excel and we can copy the required fields. So in the first session, I have shown you how to how to get the field name in the length. Go to respect to T code and on that screen press F1 and note down the field name and the length of the field. So this we have done in the first session. So in the similar way, here for this vendor creation, we have to maintain the source field. Click execute, select the structure, click on table maintenance. So I already noted all the fields in my Excel file. I just copy all the fields which we have entered on the screen. The first is the name of the vendor, second search term, third is the postal code, then city, country, region, and the telephone number. Press enter, save, go back, save and go back, maintain structure relation, click execute. 
Now here, as per the object which we have selected, that is vendor, the system display all the array structure. If you want to see the field details, just click on the description. So you can see the field name, like the title, the name one, or T01, that is city, the PSV, that is postal code, the country code, the region. So you can see all the fields which we required, which we have used on our screen, are present in the BLFA1 table structure. Okay, so here also, as I'm not entering the company code, so I'm not going for this one. I will assign my structure only to top three, one, two, and three level. So how to assign? Either double click or second method. Place the cursor here and then click on relationship. In both the way, we can assign the structure. So go back, maintain field mapping and conversion rules. Execute. So you have to give constant to T code. Select. Either we can go to rule or we can directly click on constant here. So T code will be XK01. Second is the account group, vendor account group that I use as 0001. First step. Now here. We'll check if the field names are, ma uh, are matching. Go for auto field mapping. Press enter. Yes, name one is matching. Accept proposal. And the current key that is land one is also matching. Accept proposal. So remaining fields we have to assign. So second field was the sort field. Okay, here the field is SORTL. Select the field. Click on source. Document the field name which you want to assign. Press enter. Similarly, the city. For city, we have city one. Then next, we have the postal code. Source field. Click on the postal code. Then the review. That is the state ID. Select the field name. Click on source field region the last one is a telephone number that is telf1 press the cursor click on source field it is a telephone number so here we done with the field mapping by assigning some constant value for the t code and we are done field mapping with the structure field click on save go back no need of this step We'll see this data. Now, let me create some data. So as per this format, I have my test data here. Control C. Create data into the source file, text file. Just copy paste from the Excel. So first is my vendor name, second search term, third is the postal code, fourth one is city, then the country ID, then the region ID, and the telephone number. Close the file, go back to LSNW, specify file, Double click on legacy data, select the file name, and using the same file name, give the detail as vendor master, Data for one source structure in the tabulated format. Field order matches the source structure. Press enter. Save. Go back. Assign file. So only single file. So automatically it is assigned. Save. Read data from the file. Execute. You can see two records are read by the system. From the text file, go back, display read data, execute, press enter. So you can see two record data here. Just click on any record. So we can see in a vertical format, horizontal format, name, search term, postal code, etc. 
go back select convert data and execute so two records are converted as per the SAB LSN value format display converted data execute enter so you can see the converted data as per SAP format the last step okay create batch input session this will create a batch input first here select a log instead of dialog box so if any messages are there system will display as a log okay click on execute so you can see session name vendor underscore da was created okay so what happened in case of direct input method if any fields are empty the system pass, pass as the slash that is no data but no issue if the session is created go back go back and the last one that is run back input session as in this previous step system has created one session that is vendor underscore di so if you go here you can see this is the sn35 screen so one session is created with two records select process here there are multiple options if you want to see in the foreground you can select foreground if you want to do into background we can select the backgrounds or error message so as this is for practice so we'll go with the fo uh, foreground mode press enter you can see this is the first screen triple zero one is the account group now all data which we have entered from the file you can see on the screen to the telephone number press enter first one is done this is the second one processing done data process successfully now how to check the data go to table LFA1 go to SE16 table is LFA1 I'm entering today's date execute so we can see the two records as per our file are created copy any ID just go to xk03 enter the id address detail press enter so we can see the new vendor is created with the given details okay so in this way as a practice we are done with the vendor creation with lsmw direct implementer thank you